Hey everybody, today I wanted to make a quick video about Renaissance Wax. It's a, like a petroleum based polish that they use to uh, uh, prevent oxidation on antiques or antiquities even uh, at the British Museum. They use anything from leather, fabric, metal, um, stones, just pretty much anything. They use it on uh, uh, photographs even apparently. Um, it's a uh, synthet synth uh, synthetic wax. That's but it is petroleum based and it's made in England. Here's the website for you. I'll put a link down below to their website. Um, it's a little pricey. This one costs 20 bucks right now on Amazon, uh, but it will last you a long time. You don't need a whole lot. And um, aside from preventing oxidation, it kind of gives everything a nice little shine. Let me show you this real quick. It's a, a cheap fossil I got and I uh, just applied one coat and it just turned out beautiful. Um, and if it starts to get a little uh, matte looking, you can just polish it up real quick with a cloth or shop towel and it still looks great. Um, I put it on this old Mexican brooch and it's not to, it's not gonna take, well, it might take a little bit off, but it doesn't, it shouldn't take too much patina off. And it's more just a preservative, so. And like I said, you can put on leather. Um, I uh, heard about it for uh, coins. For ancient coins, it can, sometimes it adds a little, like a wet look like that. You can see more detail. Obviously, it protects it, but it'll help identify it. This one's Domitian, or Domitian, however you want to say it. I did, just for fun, put it on this uh, dollar coin, just on one side. And gave a little bit of a shine compared to the back. Not much of a huge difference on this, but anyway, definitely one on this. That one, that came out beautiful. But I thought I'd try it on the knife. Um, a lot of people say they you know clean it with alcohol wipes. Uh, I typically don't, although in this case I did just to try it out. Uh, another tip people say is get a lighter and kind of melt it in a little bit. I tend to not do that. It doesn't really seem to. I don't notice a difference at all. But what you want to do is just kind of rub it around, kind of like a shoe polish. You don't need a whole lot. And um, I guess we'll do the, open it up, we'll do the wood first. I'm just kind of getting like a little, a little layer on there. It smells like gasoline. Um, and you just rub it on until it's dry. The way I know it's dry, at least for me, I wait till it's, um, till I don't smell it really strong. But um, I think in this case we're going to hurry along since I'm making a video. I don't want to wait too long, but you want to put a nice little coat on. And I'll probably go over this later, but just for the sake of the video. Um, let me get some hands. It's fine. It's not going to kill you. Anyways, let it, let it dry a little bit. I think ideally you'd want like a cotton rag or something softer, but I think for the knife, this is gonna work okay. And we'll do it around before I wipe it off just to show you what it looks like. <laughs> I figured I'd do it on this one because Damascus, especially cheap ones like this, were, are known to rust easy and it'll be nice just to add a protective layer. This is a nice uh, sentimental knife I got for my birthday one year. And, after it dries up, you want to just kind of buff it off. We'll see how it came out. Now, it's not going to improve it greatly, but it's going to add a nice protective coating to it and a little bit of an extra shine to it. But um, if you want to get in there, you can get some Q-tips going in here on the inside, clean it out real good. And then go in there with the wax, but I think this would be great for antique knives um, or knives kind of like this Damascus one that you know are going to rust. That need just a little bit of extra protection. And um, it's removable. You can get mineral spirits or white spirit, whatever you you know, whatever you want to call it. It's the same thing. And you'll you can take it off. And and like I said, you can use it on, on photographs. I'm probably gonna finish the knife up. I might do a, the leather sheath just to, I don't know, 
just to try out and see what it looks like, but it's really neat stuff. I think that just came out perfect, I think. I even put it in the back, a little bit of shine on the back. Uh, it has a slight waxy feel, almost more like a, like a plastic -y kind of a feel. And then I didn't do a whole lot in this. I didn't want to, I couldn't get in too deep. I might go back and do that, but that came out nice. And like I said, you know, removable. Anyways, I'll put a link down below to their website. Um, this is, I got this back in like, in the early 2000s. So you don't need a lot of this stuff. Anyways, well, that's it. Thanks for watching.